Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. You know I like um, EV meetups and stuff like that, and uh, today's no exception. It's a beautiful day. It's got to be like 22 degrees, not a cloud. In, well, there's some clouds, but no rain expected or anything like that. I'm on my way up to a place called Kitchener, Ontario. I make it sound like nobody knows it, but if you don't live in, in Ontario or even Canada, you may not, but for all the GTA people, they're looking at me like, what's he talking about? Anyways, Kitchener, Ontario, they're uh, at, at the Kitchener Sales Center, the Tesla Sales Center. They're off, They're uh, doing up a barbecue, like a little meetup and barbecue and stuff like that. It's being put on by the EV owners of uh, the Waterloo region. And uh, a guy named Mark, Mark's, uh, I think he's the guy heading it up. Autopilot, changing lanes by itself. <laughs> It's actually navigate on autopilot. Uh, so he's, uh, and I'm paying attention to Rose, don't, don't worry. And he's, um, I think he's heading it up. Uh, he says there's probably like 50 or 60 people already. And it's not a big, big service center. So, sorry, it keeps it calling service center, sales center. It's not a big location. So uh, it may be standing room only. It should be a good turnout. So we're heading up there right now. And uh, I'm going to bring you along. Come check it out. I'd like to say come down and check it out, but this isn't live. So you wouldn't be seeing it. So you're just going to have to watch it vicariously through me. Well, we made it, we are here. My buddy Rob's here. Parking his. So this is the Chrome Delete kit from the uh, Tesla Bros that they offer. It's a pretty good kit. One of those do it yourselfs does the uh, side markers, the clearance lights there, does the mirrors, does of course basically anything that has a uh, chrome in it, including the door handles. And how hard was it to do? That's right about it, yeah. From, from a 1 to 10, 10 being extremely hard. Like a 5. Wow, that's not, I, thought, I thought you'd give it no, more than that. As long as you follow the tutorial videos and you go and order what they're saying, yeah. take really just take your time doing it. It's not that bad. Good. Make sure you have a heat gun. A heat gun. Yeah. I so like. I didn't heat up everything properly and I didn't realize I really needed it until like midway through. Yeah. Yeah, so. They did a good job on the mirror design and engineering on that because the I know hardest, that is the hardest. The hardest for me was the repeaters. Really? Yeah. Because the repeaters is one piece and you gotta like wrap and fold and stuff and it's... And they do, do they do it for the um... Yeah, they give you really, all the logos as well. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. I thought it was just... Okay, I guess so it's everything chrome. Look at this wrap coming up here, folks. This is like some kind of blue powdery metallic purple in it. Nice wrap. So this is probably, I don't know if it's documented, but it's probably the highest mileage Model 3 in, in Canada. Maybe even North America. I know there's some high ones in the uh, US. This is Rob's car. Taking someone out for a test drive. Test drives. Hey, what's the mileage on it now? Oh, uh, what's the mileage? I don't know. Uh, 200 yet? Well, yeah, 200. 200. 104,500. Wow. There you go. And keeps climbing every day. Yeah. Good job, Rob. Black Road. So we're here, there's like tons and tons of cars, like this is a great turnout. Oh, and I was wrong, I found out this is a service center, not a sales center. It may be a sales center one time, uh, one day soon, but right now it's just a service center and it's up and running and it's open, but enough about that. Look at all the cars here, a wicked turnout. Mostly Model 3s, but there's some Model Xs and Model Fs. And then there's some other just random EVs too, like there's some Bolts. Uh, there's an i3 over there, a BMW, there's a, there's a Leaf. So there's some good, good cars, some good EVs. And you know what? That's what this is about. I was just talking to a gentleman that doesn't have an EV, 
he's a mechanic but he's here he saw he stopped and he saw the because from this road you can see tons and tons of, like it's a lot of traffic right so people drive by and they see and they uh, stop in and they're like what's going on because they haven't seen this many um, Teslas in this parking lot especially if they live around here so they've come in and they've checked it out and the uh, curiosity is certainly there for EVs you just gotta educate people educate the public and tell them more about it and stuff like that and then 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 they're on board they, they're almost sold and then especially Rob is here like I said Rob's got one of the cars with uh, one of the most mileage on it he was in here uh, he was here and he was uh, giving a test drive to somebody so once you drive this car I don't have to tell you, if, if you're a Model 3 owner, you know. Once, but any, if you're not a Model 3 owner, once you drive the car, you're sold. Hey! Colin, you don't know me, watch your videos. Colin, nice to meet you, guys. Thanks for your well. support. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> you get around. Videos. Sorry? You get around. Oh, I know. Don't tell my wife. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we didn't mean that way. Yeah. No, no, I know what you mean. No, no, because... <laughs> Tell me how old this puppy is again, Paul? This, this puppy is 12 years old. 12 years old. It looks exactly like a little puppy for um, a golden retriever. Golden retriever right? yeah. But it's a, what, what, what's the mix again? Uh, cock, uh, cockapoo. Cockapoo. Yeah. Oh, you know hey, old girl. You can tell by by her her face. Yeah, you can see the age in there, but I wouldn't, I would have thought that was just. Oh, look how long loves, her legs are. She loves long them. Legs. If he's, if he's around, no one else exists. She's a sleeper, just like her dad's car. Oh. <laughs> this is a performance model 3, but it's the sleeper edition. Yeah, fast car. <laughs> and uh, I was really let down. And then I thought, okay, I'm not going to get the silver. Um, I've had black cars in the past, really hard to keep clean. Blue, I've had blue, I had a Blue Eagle Talon. For some reason, blue gets more attention than I almost ever wanted it to get. Yeah. Um, I've never owned a red car. If you had to ask me 10 years ago, would I ever own a red car, I would have shot myself. Uh, you're, you'll never own a red car, Jason. So he wouldn't have shot himself. And I said, what color should I get? My 11-year-old son. And he talked me into the multi-coat red. He's like, Dad, it's a performance Model 3. Tesla is known for red. Get the red, Dad. He's like, oh, I can't have a red car. But then I started picturing myself in it and looking at the Tesla Red more. And You're too salty. Eh? Right. I'll, Group I'll photo go time. Front. I guess I gotta go to the front. <laughs> I think you need that. Hey, nice ride, buddy. Yeah. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's your name? Uh, Omar. Tara. Tara, yeah. You yeah. guys enjoying the uh, Tesla barbecue? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Pretty fun. You guys have a Tesla? Yeah. yeah. I have a Model 3. I have a Model S. You have a Model S? Yeah. yeah. And you have a Model X? No, Model 3. Model 3? Yeah. yeah. How do you guys like it? It's pretty it's good. It's pretty good. I like the arcade. The arcade, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question. Aren't you guys a little young to drive? Uh, Your Teslas? No. No, we've done it before. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. See you. Bye. Like, you're gaining 10% more than a pre yes. other... Pre yeah. So... So put it this way, I've had mine for a year, I've lost less than 10000 on it. I've had it for a year, I've lost less than 10000 If you were to turn around and if sell I'd it. If I were to turn around and sell it, yeah. And they've gone down so much. Like, and think about it, yeah, they've yeah. gone down in price from the day I bought it. Oh, and man. and I'm still losing less than 10000 So, like, all in all, like, in terms of an investment, it is... No car is an investment, but you actually save money over a eight-year span. The battery warranty is eight years. So even if you said, hey, I want to keep it from the day I buy it to the day I sell it for eight years, depending on how much you drive, obviously, uh, insurance and stuff like that, but you'll save money buying one of these versus... A car in the $40,000 range. So how do you order one? Do you go online and order it? 
So you go online, here. <laughs> you order it online. That's a cool shirt. Yours is cool too, buddy. <laughs> oh, you want it? <laughs> well, that's it, folks. I brought you along. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, most people are gone now, so as you can see, the parking lot's dying down a little bit. But very successful, very fun event. Hot dogs were great. Should have tried the hot dogs if you were here. You didn't try the hot dogs. What's wrong with you? You should have tried the hot dogs, Rob. Anyways, folks, that's all I got. Come check out if you're in the Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph, Cambridge area and you got a Tesla and uh, you need some service done. This one here, it's a 663 Victoria Street North. That's the location of this Tesla service. Like I said, it's, it's service. I was mistaken at the beginning. It's not sales, it's service. Come check it out and these guys will take good care of you. Cyril right here, he's a, he's a service tech. He's one of those mobile guys that come out to your house. That's good too. Good guy. If you ever get him to come out to your house, you'll get an awesome job done and uh, he'll take good care of you. Anyways, folks, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to get out of here. I got a long drive home. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Okay, one thing I learned about Montreal drivers in uh, Quebec, see how we're sitting here in this lane waiting to exit. In Montreal, they wouldn't be doing this. It would be long like this, but everyone passing in this lane here would be butting in. Yeah, in Ontario, you get the odd one or two idiots trying to do it. In Montreal, every second person does it. And the lines just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yep, this is me complaining and criticizing Montreal people. I'm the guy with the camera in my hand while driving. But I'm in autopilot.